Madam President, fellow Toastmasters, honoured guests. We buy 90% of our food from supermarkets in the UK, mostly from just four suppliers, Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury and Morrisons. I don't. I haven't bought anything from a supermarket for over 25 years. Why? Because of the way they treat their suppliers and customers. I'm not suggesting that they don't make life more convenient for busy people. They do, but at a cost. One of my friends was secretary to the managing director of a well-known biscuit manufacturer and she gave me the supplier's story from the inside. Special offers have been in the news recently. Did you know it isn't the supermarket that's being generous? The supplier is footing the bill. So let's suppose my favourite biscuits are on a two-for-one deal. Let's say they normally cost Tesco £1.50 a pack and they charge you £2. The supplier would not only have to supply both packs to Tesco for £1.50, they might have to also give Tesco an extra 50p for the profit that they would have made if they'd sold both packs separately. No wonder there were so many two-for-one deals around. Did you know that if you return an item to the supermarket and they give you your money back, it isn't the supermarket fitting the footing the bill, it's the supplier again. They have to give the supermarket a £25 fee for each item returned, no matter why. I know you're going to find this story difficult to believe, but it is true. Some biscuits that were left on the shelf were sold past their best before date. The fault of the supermarket. The shopper returned them not unreasonable. The supermarket demanded £25 from the supplier. Very unreasonable. They won't sign contracts and if the supplier takes legal action they get no more business. They build up a supplier's reliance on them and then cut the price. All the big supermarkets have started unilaterally cutting 3 to 5% from their suppliers' invoices. So imagine going to work tomorrow and being told, we've taken 3% off your wages this month. That's not fair, is it? Because there are no contracts, the shops can act pretty much as they want. A high-end supermarket, who I can't name for legal reasons, cancelled a £1 million order for biscuits after they'd been manufactured and packed in own brand packaging. So the supplier had to unpack them all and repack them in their own boxes to sell them at a loss. Supermarkets drive other shops out of business. They use their influence with councils to develop huge greenfield sites out of town, away from the competition, whilst smaller shops are prohibited from expanding or even putting up an A-frame sign to advertise their offers. Supermarkets provide free parking, whilst smaller shops are at the mercy of the council, who seem hell-bent on discouraging people from shopping in town. £1.40 for an hour to park in Salisbury. No wonder 3,366 <coughs> UK shops closed in the first six months of this year. 
And I haven't even started on packaging or food miles. Why do you need to have your potatoes wrapped in plastic? Because I buy my vegetables from a farm shop, I only need to empty my kitchen bin every four to six weeks. Consider the cost to the environment of shipping food from around the country or the world when it can be bought from the people that grow it. But the supermarkets are so cheap, we can't afford to shop elsewhere, can we? Well, here's a random selection of produce that I compared this week, and I didn't have to try hard. I just took <coughs> a few items off my bill. So, pure farmhouse butter from Blandford, bought in Anstey Farm Shop, £1.59. £1.60 would have bought me Lure Pack or Anchor from Waitrose. Hummus bought from the village store in Ludwell, £1.09. £1.30 to £1.90 from Sainsbury. Maris Piper Potatoes bought from Anstey Farm Shop, £5.20 for a 12.5 kilo bag, £7.50 in Waitrose, a Crown Prince squash, one pound a kilo from Anstey, one ninety nine from Tesco per kilo, and six large organic eggs laid and purchased in Anstey, one pound fifty five, six mixed weight organic eggs, two pounds from Tesco. So we have a situation in which the supermarkets dominate our kitchens with overpriced, overpacked products while squeezing the suppliers to the point of bankruptcy. So what can you do about it? Buy more of your food locally and save fuel costs. So for me, it's a two mile round trip to the local farm shop, a 20 mile round trip to my nearest supermarket. Farm shops are fantastic. Farmers markets, local post offices and independent corner shops all offer a great alternative to supermarkets. You can enjoy being served by people who like you and have time to help. And maybe you'll even save some money as well. The real power lies with us, the consumers. We just have to exercise it. Thank you.